June 2023, San Francisco. What a beautiful sunny day to spend in the world's toughest prison. Six Polish flight attendants on a way to Alcatraz. Cheers to that! Okay, mimosa for breakfast, <laughs> ladies. I'm not in the I fly, perfect way to start the day. We have come to the city from our hotel. It was like half an hour drive. I'm so surprised because, yeah, it was quite far. And this is not the most surprising part. The most surprising part is that it's uh, so windy and so cold in here that I'm wearing the uh, wind protection. <laughs> And then I'm also wearing a jacket and I'm still feeling a bit chilled. Uh, so good luck for me. And uh, I don't believe it's California. Why this weather is summer? Anyways, uh, we are going to have breakfast in this hotel, in this cafe called Eagle Cafe. And we're gonna have a proper big size American breakfast. And we have a big, big mafia, Polish mafia. And one Serbian girl that I've never had such a flight where there's so many Polish people. I'm so happy to finally speak my language. And uh, yeah, I'm, I hope that we're gonna enjoy this day. I bet that we're gonna enjoy this day. Around 20 minutes cruising on the rough, cold waters of Pacific. Oh. That's one of the reasons why Alcatraz was so impossible to escape. Here it is, Alcatraz. From this side, it seems so close, but from the other... <laughs> All these people are going to the prison. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised because we see like hundreds of people here and just for 11.30, imagine every hour people are coming or even maybe every half an hour, so many people are coming to the island. It's crazy, isn't it? How big is the island? Break the rules and you go to prison. Break the rules in prison and you go to Alcatraz. Crazy amount of hardened steel surrounded by cold Pacific waters. Impossible to survive and impossible to escape. Alcatraz, most the most infamous and the man who island in the world. And we have arrived. We just need to make sure that we don't stay here. I have a feeling that this island has a richer history than any movie can show. I bet you've heard about the stars of this movie, famous inmates that were Al Capone, George Machine Gun Kelly, or Robert Strode called as the Birdman of Alcatraz. My first impression is that this island, that is also a national park, is so beautiful, the nature. Look at this and tell me that I'm not right. Blooming nature, ocean in the background. So that's gonna be the laundry building. Nothing for free. Inmates were also making a living by working in a kitchen or laundry and making a roughly 5 to 12 cents per hour for that. So this is the laundry where prisoners were saving the government money. But also there is a several escapes from this building. On example, one of the prisoners who was working here managed to steal the whole set piece by piece of the military uniform. And one day he decided, I'm escaping. He put the uniform on himself and he escaped on the military boat, but he was quickly discovered and captured as soon as he arrived at the shore. 
When we came here, the red graffiti welcomed us with the sign. It was something like United Indian Property. So yeah, that, that was because there were few brief occupation by Native Americans here on Alcatraz. They say that before the prisoners, the only residents here were the birds because there was no large predators here. Oh my god, I see a big seagull here. Actually, a few of them here. And the island was also known from a lot of pelicans. It was named La Isla de los Alcatraces. The wind. We prepared here because it's going to be really windy. This is a different California than they think. It's actually so surprising how this island could be a beautiful resort and it become one of the toughest prisons in the world. Didn't I tell you that's the bird island? Look how many birds are sunbathing. Beside the seagulls that are almost everywhere. I personally thought that the most brutal Oh my goodness oh, She scared me the seagull The most violent and the most brutal uh, criminals were here But in fact there were people who were the most incorrigible And they were misbehaving in other prisons they were sent here And this prison was actually a Hollywood A kind of Hollywood when it comes to prison Some prisoners they wanted to be here because they had solo cells, they could have as much food as they want and apparently the food was good. Uh, so some people wanted to be transferred here, can you believe? One of the toughest, the most secured prisons and people wanted to come to this Hollywood prison. <laughs> Honestly, I have to say I'm quite jet lagged by now because it's 2 p.m. and the difference between Dubai and uh, San Francisco is exactly 12 hours. So that means that basically it's at 2 a.m. right now in Dubai and I can feel it. The prisoner had four rights. That would be food, clothing, shelter and medical care. Everything else was a privilege and you gotta earn that. I have just entered the main prison and I got welcomed by the huge showering area where you've got the basic amenities for hygiene. This is the size of the single cell in Alcatraz. There were only single cells, but I mean, this one is missing still the bed. The adult man could basically spread his arms and touch both of the walls. Have you watched the movie called Escape with Clint Eastwood? It was a real story that happened in Alcatraz. There were two prisoners that created a fake head, a dummies with a real human hair that were meant to fool the guards and then they escaped on the canopy created from the life jackets and then they basically disappeared and they are missing until today let's move to the favorite place for all the prisoners but to be here you needed to earn it ah! <laughs> my god it's really windy those prisoners who behaved they were able to June and it's so cold and the prisoners were able to stay here for several hours even though I cannot imagine staying here and playing any games in any other months in summer. Let's move to the strict block D. Here the cells might look bigger 
but the inmates had to stay here 24 hours a day and the only contact with human was the weekly shower. The hall was the strictest punishment in Alcatraz. Prisoners sent here stayed in total darkness with a restricted diet. Scary to even stay here for a few minutes. Access to the library or ability to paint or to do other exercises were also a privilege here. Dining hall. It was the most dangerous place in the whole prison because imagine 300, almost 300 prisoners eating together in one room. Do you see the black painted knives? It was for the warders to easily locate if any is missing. This hall had to be specially equipped with gas in case anything major would happen. That was really moving you back in the time visit. You could hear stories from prisoners and you could hear stories from wardens. Finding that Al Capone, who was a notorious gangster and mob boss, uh, was actually playing a banjo in Alcatraz. This is how much he changed after being sentenced. Fun fact, people believe that's not possible to swim from, from Alcatraz to San Francisco. One inmate did it, but he was exhausted and hypothermic. Today, hundreds of people are competing to complete this one point five mile swim. At the end of our day, we were lucky enough to meet the last living inmate that recently published a book. Wow. Wow. So often Alcatraz nickname was The Rock, people were referring to it as The Rock because the soil here was very bad and also the, it was really rocky so you couldn't even bury, bury anyone here, you couldn't even plant anyone here and yet you have a stunning garden and lots of green and perfect oasis on the rock. So people were bringing soil and even the prisoners were planting the gardens here next to the warrior, uh, warden's uh, house and now it is a national park. It's so stunning to be here, it feels like a paradise, you know, the sound of nature. There is such a ra rare bird, I've never seen this kind of bird before. Uh, it looks so exotic and beautiful and you would never feel like you're in prison. <laughs> There were 14 separate escape attempts, 36 men were involved in them, 3 men only managed to escape Alcatraz and have never been apprehended, although police presumes drowning or hypothermic uh, death, so uh, there was no official escape from Alcatraz. Uh, here the most secured prison and here the most stunning gardens. Jak tam dziewczyny wam się podobało w więzieniu? Super, super. <laughs> super wyprawa. Najbardziej podobało mi się te 20 te cele, co trzeba było siedzieć w celi 24 godziny. Była największa i najbardziej komfortowa. Komfortowa. Wizyta w więzieniu bardzo nam się podobała.